Cootie Crew, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about nose rings again, and this video is all about different types of septum jewelry and how to get them in and out. I will go ahead and leave some links in the description box in case you want to skip ahead to a certain section. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a professional piercer. Now I just want to say that you should only be changing your septum jewelry if your septum piercing is all healed up. So I will go ahead and show you how I take each of these in and out, along with some general information and tips about each type of jewelry. Without further ado, let's get started. The first type of septum jewelry that I'm going to go over is a clicker. So this one that I have in my nose right now is a clicker hoop. And all a clicker is is that it has a hinge on it, and then you open and close it on that hinge. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one in and out really quick. Um, these to me are the easiest to get in and out. Since I know I always put it in this way, I twist it the opposite way, basically up into my nose, and then you'll be able to see the seam once you twist it around. And then once you have the seam, you just grab onto each side of the hoop there and then pull it apart like this. Once it is unclicked, don't make the mistake of lifting this side all the way up because then you won't be able to take it back out of your nose. It just needs to be separated enough that you can go ahead and pull it out. Ta-da! But to put it in, of course, this has to be open. And then just get the first hinged section through your septum piercing. Once that curved section is through to the other side of my nose, so it's all the way through my septum, I take my left finger and then place it on top of where that is, um, just to kind of steady it and stabilize it, swing the bottom part around, and click it into place. Ta-da! I keep my nails pretty short, so you don't really need a lot of like nail or anything to grab onto the jewelry. All you need to do is apply a little bit of pressure outwards. So you don't want to be twisting it around or anything like that. Just straight out to the side when you open it up. The next type of jewelry is going to be this seamless hoop. Now the reason it's called seamless isn't because it's actually seamless. It just looks like it is. Um, and all it is is a hoop that you twist sideways like this. So you don't want to twist it apart like the clicker ring, because the clicker ring has that hinge to it, whereas this has no hinge, so you want to twist it sideways to get it in and out of your nose. These are really nice because you can twist them around without any issues and are less prone to snagging those boogers. I feel like I've mentioned boogers probably too many times on my channel already, but... I don't want boogers hanging out on my jewelry. Let's go ahead and put one in. The trick to these is strength. I guess it depends on how sturdy the metal is for the hoop that you have, but the one that I have, it is extremely difficult to twist. Extremely. If you have a pair of jewelry pliers, this might make this easier, but I don't. So I just use my fingers and it's a pain in the butt because you need to twist this far enough apart that you can get it around this part of your nose and through the piercing hole. Um, this is how far I had to twist it open to get it out. Um, so while it's twisted like that, um, slip it up into your nose. Once you find the piercing hole, twist it around. So it looks like this. And then, using brute force, you twist it back into place. Ugh. <sighs> Until it lines up. How did I do? Ah. 
I'm telling you, that is, this one that I have is tough, but really cute, right? Twist that seam back around to the front and then pull it again. You're pulling it this way, not this way. So pull it in opposite, like a, not like there's a hinge. There is no hinge. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Found the seam. Bowling. Ah. Apart. Okay. And then twist it back out. It's doable. It just hurts my fingers. In case there's anyone out there who has some pro tips on how to make that easier, please let us know in the comments. Same goes for all the other types of jewelry. I'm again showing you how I take these things in and out. I wore that seamless hoop for like over a year straight. I just liked how simple it was. It matched everything. It was really nice. So big fan of those. Not a big fan of taking them in and out. Now for the final one, the horseshoe barbell. So this is just a curved barbell. It's not a full circle with a bead on each side. This is great if you need to hide your piercing from anyone, like for instance for work, because this one allows you to flip it up and down into your nose and when it's flipped up you can't see anything. And this is me keeping track of which side of the bead I put on myself. I put it in right to left so you need to take the bead off to get it through your nose on the one side. Spin it around. The bead has the threads on it. I'll get a close up in a second. And what you have to do is screw the bead in to the end here. A pro tip I have seen is to wear gloves for this, like um, gloves like this. And that just helps you with grip. This is the only way I can figure out how to do it, is I grab the bead with the, the screw part coming this way, like the threads coming out, squeeze it real hard or else it's going to slip out and, you know, be very careful not to lose the bead. And then, um, since my threads are this way, I basically twist my hand the opposite way so that I can do a full rotation with my wrist to get it in there the first time. So it is how you can see it here. And I need to be like this close to a mirror so there was no way for me to film that. I have never been able to get it with my fingers. I don't know how people do that. I'm, it's, I'm in awe. Anyway, so now that I have the first thread in there, I can use my fingers to finish up um, screwing that in. I just can't ever get it in there first without using these. Ta-da! Again, if you guys have pro tips on how to get the beads in these horseshoe barbells, please leave them in the comments. Now, if you want to flip it up, all you have to do is go like this, because that kind of shrinks this part of your nose. Grab onto each side, and then very gently just push it up. See, it's like barely anything. And then once it's in there, you can flip it all the way up and you can't see anything unless you go like this. And then same thing to get it out, but the opposite. Ta-da! To get this off, you twist the bead in the opposite direction and then pull it back out. So. That's all I have for you guys on that. And also, if you're having trouble with types of jewelry or you're just feeling comfortable about changing into new types of jewelry, there's always the option to go to a piercing shop and they will go ahead and switch out the jewelry for you, usually for free and like some tip money. Don't forget to tip your piercers. So don't forget that option. While it is a heck of a lot easier to do it yourself at home, if you're not comfortable with that or you're having trouble, piercing shops will help you out. If there's something I missed or if you have any further questions or any more video 
topic requests, please go ahead and leave that in the comments. I think jewelry is just an amazing way to express yourself and change up your look from day to day. So I hope that this was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more. And I will catch you guys next time.